Well, the, the X, the X values, you take, you subtract the X values. Okay, X, uh, which is, uh, it's going to be negative three and negative uh, four. Yes. And that's, that's your vector. And this is vector notation. And so if, uh, if I see a question like this, the answer is going to be negative three uh, and uh, negative four. But yes. Uh, Yes. Okay. Do you want me to give you a problem like this? Yes. Okay. So let's say Q, let's say Q is uh, minus three minus two and P is uh, five comma minus eight. What is QP? It's going to be eight and uh, uh, so negative six. Yes. Okay. All right. So new question. And 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 how can you graph this? Uh, are they going to ask for the graph, or they would not? Mm. They haven't asked that many graphs in the homeworks, so I would say no. Okay. Probably not. In physics, you would graph this, but okay. So they're they they're giving they're giving you these are givens. These are there's three vectors. They're giving you these three vectors: two j plus k. So again, i is x, j is y, and k is z. Okay. Okay, now 2j plus k is a, b is minus 3i plus 5j plus 4k, and z is i minus 3j minus 3k. So they're, 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 um, they're giving you those and then they're saying, take three times A. So we need to do three times A. So that's three times two J plus K. And then you just distribute that in. Six J plus three K. Well, uh, we're, we're just I doing know. this part. So you put the three A then. Uh, yeah, there and A is up here at the top. But then what, what did you do? Oh. Multiply. There's really a one there. Yes. Equals to 6J? Plus 3K. 6J plus 3K. Okay. And then we need to find 7B. All right, so 7b, so b is seven times minus three i plus five j plus four k. So you just multiply seven in to all three, minus 21 i plus 35 j plus 28 k. Okay. Then 6z. 6z minus 6z, or you can, I would probably do minus 6z. Uh, so you're going to do everything times minus 6, i minus 3j minus k. So minus 6i plus 18j plus 6k. Okay. 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 And the answer is going to be all of this, right? Well, now we got to add them all together. Oh. Um, it's going to be wait how? Oh. So I'm going to move the J and the first one over. So you just add them up mm -hmm. uh, vertically. Okay. So it's a minus minus twenty seven i hat 
41, 59, J hat, 37, K hat. Okay. Any questions on that? And, and that's going to be how was the question again? The question for this? It just it's just asking for this oh. this this right here. It's just saying to simplify. I mean, I would expect you to get get something like that. Okay. All right. So uh, let's uh, ready to move on to a new question. Yes. Okay. So the next next question asks for the uh, magnitude or length of a vector. So the word length, uh, or if you see this symbol, magnitude of v. They they mean the same thing. Okay, so so there's a formula for this. Okay, you you take the coefficients, you take each of the coefficients here. You square them, you add them together, and then you take the square root. Wait, you take the coefficient? Yes, the coefficient of them. The number in front, one, minus one, and three, one, minus one, and three. You square them, add them together, and take a square root. So this be, this is the square root of eleven. And I still don't understand the v v uh, the v and the lines. That's that means magnitude. That means mag like you have to interpret that. You have to like know that that's what it means. Okay. Then that's it. Huh? That's the answer. That's it. Okay. All right. So let's have you try one. Let's say V equals three I hat minus J hat minus two K hat. I want you to find the magnitude of V. So the V equals the square root of three squared plus one squared so oh, negative negative one two. Two. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's the it's the square root of fourteen. All right. Well, the good news is is, is we're going through this faster than uh, the first time we did it. But uh, you know. Yes. All right. So let's uh, let's do another one here. So this one's like a uh, synthesis of uh, of the problem previous problem. So you're you're trying to find the magnitude of y minus x. So you, have, you, you first need to do y minus x. Like th this is the first thing you do. Get that result, figure out whatever this is, and then find the magnitude of it. That's what these vertical lines. So. So y minus x. Take your y, 10i minus 6j, and subtract x. Here's x minus 5i plus 7j. But so y minus x. So you have to distribute the negative to both. Mm 
Okay. Okay, and then you combine like terms. You combine this one and this one. So it's 15i minus 13j. Okay, and then from here, now you're ready to find the magnitude. So the magnitude of the vector, you take the coefficients, you square them, and square root. Wait, uh, I can just give them how they say I, then the arrow, the question? Yeah, you can use the arrow if you want. I think it's a little longer to write than the, than the hat. Oh. Takes longer to write, I mean. Right, so first you the minus made it plus no yes it substitutes yes then you added the uh, like terms yes that's square root then that's it or do you have to simplify it more yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta say, okay, it's two twenty-five. It's one hundred and sixty-nine. I don't know, but my calculator, it's not. I can't put a square root. Well, you, you, you would just add inside the root. You know, it's the square root of. No, I, I don't know how to put a square root to my calculator. It's. Uh, it's a okay. two plus. Well, you may not. You may not have a calculator on the test. Oh. Who knows. Uh, there's also, I, I saw there's a review session tomorrow night. Uh, you, you ought to go to that. It's on Zoom. There's a review session and okay. uh, be good for you. I think it's 630. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's have you try one here. All right. So I want you to find the magnitude of V. Oh, I, I could barely see the question. What's this? Uh, oh, okay. So we want the magnitude of V. So the first thing is like this, then V, then equals to the square root of uh, four. Squared plus squared, squared. Negative eight times negative eight is going to be sixteen, huh? Sixty-four. Oh, it's uh, sixty-four. Then sixteen plus sixty-four is going to be eighty. So the square root of eighty. Yes. So it's the square root of eighty. Good. And you can reduce that, whether you want to or not. So the next question, and this is one. There's actually a. Uh, kind of a question on your homework about this. Let me, um, actually, no, 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 I'm sorry, that that comes later. Okay, so let's look at, let's, uh, let's look at this next problem here. All right, so it says find a vector with length eight that points in the same direction as i minus j plus 2k. So we, we first need the magnitude of this vector because we don't know we don't know how long it is we don't know its length so we need one squared plus negative one squared plus two squared. Do you agree with that? Let's find the vector with length eight equals well, eight. Well, no, no, not a equals eight. I mean, it does equal eight, but that that's that this won't equal eight. This equals one plus one plus four, this equals six. Okay. Okay, so its current length is the square root of six. 
Okay. You agree with that? You see that? Yes. Okay. But we really want it to be eight. Okay. So if you multiply this by eight divided by the square root of six, what does it equal? How much? Eight, because these cancel. Oh. So like, so like so, let's say something has length. All, all, I, all I have to do is take the answer and put it down. Uh, eight, put the length on top and divided by the square root. The of. current length. Yeah, divided by its current length. Yeah. Then it's going to cancel out because it's... Yes. Then but, that's but, but eight divided by the square root of six, that's what we need to multiply this vector by. Okay, so, so let's say V is equal to I minus J plus 2K. If you take eight over square root of six and you multiply it times V, okay, th this is kind of like the, the, the three A from earlier. You're, you're gonna multiply each of these by this right here. So it's eight over the square root of six times I. But I'm um, uh, with... Uh... Yeah, I, uh, I'm lost here. What did you do? Well, let's go back to this other problem here. Do you remember how we did 3a, three, three yes, times yes, a? Yes, 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 That's yes. what we're doing. Yes. We're going to take this 8 squared to 6, and we're going to multiply it by this vector. And, 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 and what about what you got uh, equals to 8? Nothing? No? No, we don't. That's what we, that's what we want it to be, its length. But we're, we're, it, it asks for the vector. It doesn't ask for its length. It asks for the vector. Okay. Okay, so, so you multiply it by the vector, eight over the square root of six i minus eight over the square root of six j plus 16 over the square root of six k. Wait, wait. Uh... Um... Wait, you got V equals i minus j. Uh, plus 2k. You got this from the... Okay. That's It's given. It's given. Yeah, v equals to... Okay. V, it's not the vector, huh? It's not the length. No. V, no. no. Okay. The, this vector's length is the square root of 6. We need to come up with a new vector. Okay. That's what okay. we're trying to do here. We're trying to come up with a new vector. Okay. Then you... So we, we multiply the vector by eight over the square root of six. Eight over the square root of six times. Uh, my, times B. I think it'd be good if you just followed along here because you'll, you're going to see this at the end. So you, you square you square each of the coefficients. And then you take a square root. So this is 64 over, they're actually going to be all over 6, plus 64 minus 8 times 8 is 64, plus 256 over 6, okay? So if, you, if you've got a calculator, yeah. 64 plus 64 plus 256, okay, it's 384. 384, sorry, 384 divided by six is 64. So this is 384 over six, which is equal to 64, square root, square root, square root, which is eight, that's what we want. So th this vector, this original vector has a length of square root of six. It's too short. So we need to multiply it by something. And we're trying to figure out what to multiply it by. Okay. Okay, I mean, I mean we, could, we could try another one here because I think, I think this is important. Let's say V equals 
uh, 2i minus j plus 3k, okay? Well, now I have to find the vector, so two What's lines. It? We need to find its magnitude first. No, two well, squared. Okay, so its magnitude is the square root of 14. All right, but let's say I want its length, which is its magnitude, to be 5. Okay, this so is... it's going to be um, uh, 5 uh, divided by square root of 14. Right, times V. Uh, what is this times? Uh, okay. Because that, it really wants the vector. It wants the vector. So you, you would take this five over square root of 14 and multiply it times V. So, so five over the square root of 14 times two I minus J plus three K. Now, I mean, there's some other, there's some other little like wrinkles in here. Like you really are supposed to rationalize this and you're supposed to multiply it in. And like, you probably should even show that it's magnitude is five. I mean, there's a lot here. Yeah. So uh, you have to substitute. Uh, distribute, uh, distribute, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, how's this gonna five times? Well, it's, t it's 10 over the square root of 14, I minus five over square root of 14, J plus 15 over square root of 14, K. But like I said, you're supposed to rationalize. Like it really should be 10 square root of 14 over 14, Minus five square root of 14 over 14 plus 15 square root of 14 over 14. I, J, and K. So what's down, you put it up, then you keep uh, the- Yeah, and, but, like, but like you can reduce this one. This really becomes five over 12. And that's something you would have seen in pre-calculus, but it, it's it like, it depends on the instructor. Some are like, yeah, I don't care. You know, we're doing vector calculus. I don't care if it's simplified or not. Some do. So it's going to be. No, have you ever uh, like submitted uh, the answer like this or have you ever, or no? Do you just simplify it? Web assign will take this up here i mean that that's i mean but your instructor might not i mean i mean with web assign i don't simplify anything because i it's it's a computer it'll do it for me but for for you and your class you might want to okay that makes sense Okay. Um, yeah. So this is a this is a new question. All right. So let's find uh, two vectors v in two dimensions so that the magnitude of v is twenty, and the i component of v is is twelve i. So so in Two dimensions, two dimensions means X and Y or, or I and J. Like you have to know that X is really I and Y is really J. All right, but, and they're telling you, oh, it's 12, it's 12 I hat. So this, this vector V is 12 I hat plus, well, we don't, we don't know the J hat, so we'll call it B. We don't know the number though, but we do know the magnitude of V. What's the magnitude of V? But um, vector dimension. Twelve. But uh, I'm I'm confused uh, of this. Uh, oh. They're they're telling you that the x component of v is twelve. That's why I'm putting a 12 there. We don't know the Y component. Why we don't know, X is known. Okay. The magnitude formula. 20. Sorry. 
It is 20, but we that's that's the left side. We need uh, we need to calculate it's 12 squared plus b squared square rooted. Okay, and then we have to solve for why, b. Why 12, 12? What? Because you you square the coefficients when you take the magnitude. Okay. Okay, okay. Man, squared. It's going to be. Um, so we square both sides. 400 mm -hmm. equals 144 plus B squared. B squared equals 256. Square root of both sides plus or minus B equals plus or minus 16. B squared. It's going to be minus B. They're both. They're both answers. Oh. Okay. Okay. The answer is okay. That's gonna be the answer. Yes. Okay. Can you give me uh, another question like this? Sure. Um. Let's go. Um. Yeah. Let's go. This one's fine. Twelve. I had is fine. Let's go. Fifteen. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, so what you do is you take this, uh, put one, no, it's going to be one I hat, uh, no, Oh, no, 12. 12 plus. No, this is not given, so we're going to do this. It's going to be. Oh. I'm stuck right now. Okay, so we write V. V is 12 I hat plus B J hat. The magnitude of V is 15, but we want the formula for that. It's the square root of 12 squared plus B squared. What's B J? B. b is the number the b is the number in front of in front of j that we don't know it's two dimensions so it has to have an x and a y component okay then you do this Fifteen. Oh. 15 is the length that's the length or what yeah, the length is 15. So you square both sides, 225 equals 144 plus B squared. Then you subtract. Yep, B squared equals 81, B equals plus or minus nine. Okay. 
Okay. Could you give me one more? Sure. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go uh, 30 and 34. Right, so you can put V. Close to thirty I hot then uh plus uh oh, plus B B J then hot then uh to the length vector equals to square root of thirty Two, okay, thirty four. Two, thirty one. Plus. Uh, what can I do for it? Oh, oh so, uh, what's the 34 squared? 34 squared. I mean, these are big numbers. You got your calculator there? Uh, one eleven fifty six. Yeah. 30 squared is 900. And I have to square the BJ? Square? Yeah, you have to square B. Uh, how, how do I? You just you just square it. You just write B squared. Oh, OK, OK. No happens to the J? I don't put a J, huh? No. Oh, I was putting the, OK. Plus B, then 900 to the other side. It's going to be. Two hundred. No, it's gonna be two hundred fifty-six. Yes. Equals to B plus or oh, plus minus. Yes. Okay. Thanks. All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's look at this question here. Let me actually reframe the screen a little. All right. Uh, yeah, here we go. All right. A car is traveling at a speed of sixty kilometers per hour. It says the positive y-axis is north. So this is north, this is east, okay? And it wants you to resolve 
uh, the components. And it's saying like, let's say, let's say in part A, it's heading directly east. Okay, so in, in part A, it's going directly to the right. So we would call that 60 I hat. It's traveling 60 kilometers per hour, but we know it's going east, so we can call that 60 I hat. Do you, do you follow that? Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. All right, now let me delete that for a moment. And they want to find the why? No, they, they say it's heading east. Okay, it's heading east. So I'm gonna try and do, do this for each one so you can see it. All right, uh, so now part B, part B, it's heading south. Okay, so in part B, part B, it's going that direction. So this is this is I and this is J. So it's, see how it's going in the J, but it's going down, so it's negative sixty. Okay. J is the Y. Okay. Yes, J is the Y. All right. Now in part uh, C, I, I have to graph and draw, huh? Or well, no, you don't have to draw any of this, but it it helps to okay. to visualize. Uh, part C is southeast. Okay, so south, and then he, so it's going this direction right here. Okay, mm -hmm. which means you have to break it up into its components here. It's got an X and a Y. It's going Y down and X to the right. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, so now how, how do we do that? Well, the, the, um, this is 60, this is 45. So there's formulas here. It's like the X is 60 cosine 45. The Y is 60 sine 45. This is from trigonometry. But the Y in our problem is negative because it's going down. So you're, you're resolving, resolving into X and Y components. So the cosine and sine of 45, these are both square root of 2 over 2. 16, sine yeah. of 45. Y60 is cos. cos X, uh, I'm sorry, actually Y, I'm sorry. Well, it, it doesn't matter, but in this problem, but the way I've labeled it, it's like this. Actually, that's confusing. Let me not do it that way. Uh, in case you look at this later. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do that one. No, it's, now it's fine. Um, okay, uh, so sine cosine forty five squared of two over two. So your your x is sixty times square root of two over two, which is thirty square root of two, i hat. And your j, your y, is minus sixty times square root of two over two, minus thirty square root of two j hat. Uh, I do not know what's going on on the C part. Well, you're just converting this triangle into its X and Y components using trigonometry. I mean, we can go back and review trigonometry, which, I mean, it is needed. Okay, so in trigonometry, if I give you a right triangle, this is theta and this is V, X is V cosine theta and Y is V sine theta. So in your problem, this is 45 and V is 60. So we're just converting it. X is 60 cosine 45. Y is 60 sine 45. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I will. I will spare you from uh, having to do the last uh, part of it. Let's let's look at the next question here. Um, no, we'll we'll do this one. So 
Okay, this question says that uh, two forces represented by the vectors force one, seven i minus five j, force two, three i plus three j are acting on an object, okay? So we need to add up force one plus force two. We need to know like what the, the net force on the object is. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, so that's 10i minus 2j. 10i. Wait, where? Oh, you just added? No. That's what this is for adding. Yeah. Okay. 10i minus 2j. Now, we want the object to remain stationary, which means that when we add force 3 to it, it all needs to equal zero. Equal zero? Yeah, so like what number goes in front of I so that 10 plus B equals zero? Minus 10. Oh, okay, makes sense, makes sense. What number goes in front of C Minus two plus C equals zero. C equals two. two. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, let me stop sharing here. Stop recording. <laughs>